Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch Xbox app on your Windows computer, when you launch Xbox app, if the Xbox app is stuck on launching the Xbox app, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to check for any kind of outage from Microsoft site. So you can just type in Xbox status in Google search and then you can go to the official Xbox website. We say the Xbox status over here. And over here right now, all the services are up and running. If there is any kind of outage, like any limited outage or major outage, you will see over here. So if there is any outage, then you have to wait. If there is no outage, all the services are up and running, then you can follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can type in gaming services repair tool in Google search and then go to Xbox support website which says gaming services repair tool for PC. Go to the official website. On this website, you will see downloadable version. Click on it. Scroll down, you will see download the gaming services repair tool for PC. Click on it and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This repair will take some time. And once done, uh, you will see completed successfully. So here you can see completed successfully. Now you can launch Xbox app and then check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Xbox app. Now for this, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app and then go to app settings. Scroll down, first of all, click on terminate and then click on repair. And after the repair, you can launch Xbox app and then check. If that does not work, perform reset, click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, again, try to open Xbox app. It should not be stuck on launching the Xbox app this time. Still not working, then the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then run as administrator. Make sure that you open PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then paste the first command. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once done, copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description open this and paste it on the same window hit the enter key this i'm sorry i'm copy the second command and then paste it over here hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer then you will see install option or maybe get option click on yes to allow and let the gaming services be installed once gaming services is installed then you can try to launch xbox app and then check Still not working. The next step is to update Xbox app from Microsoft Store. Now for this, open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now once you open Microsoft Store, at the bottom left, you will see the download option. So hit download. Click on download. And over here, you will see check for update option. Click on check, check for update. And if you see update all option, hit update all. Once everything is updated over here, then try to launch Xbox app and then you can check. It was installing the gaming services that time. Now, uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. If that does not work, type in Xbox app, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall. Once the uninstall is done, you can go to Microsoft Store and in the search box, you can type in Xbox app and then try to install Xbox app from store. And then you can, once installed, you can launch Xbox app and then check. If that does not work, uninstall Xbox app once again. In my case, it is installing right now. So one, once installed, uh, you can check. If that does not work, again, uninstall Xbox app. So type in Xbox app, make a right click on Xbox app, and then click on uninstall uninstall now once the uninstall is done now you, this time you can install xbox app 
from Xbox website. So you can in Google search, you can just type in Xbox app and then go to the official Xbox website and then click on download the app. And then you can run this exe file. Just follow the on screen instruction, click on install over here and let the install complete. Once the install is complete, you can try launching the Xbox app and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct and you can be registered. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone, zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on. Also click on sync now. This is important. Sync now is important. If you receive any errors in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. Go to time and language and then go to language and region and then make sure your country is selected over here and then you can try to check. Next step is to run this WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will reopen Microsoft store and then you can check. Next step is to update your windows. Now for this go to windows update in windows settings and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart you can be restart you must after this and then you can try to open Xbox app and then check. Now the next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. Gaming services we have already installed. So just install this Xbox identity provider. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Xbox identity provider. Click on download. It will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So open Microsoft store. And if Xbox identity provider is already installed, you will see install button and it will be grayed out like this. In my case, it is already installed. In your case, if you see get option, install option or update option, update it and then you can open. Next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find all the Xbox services. Here you can see four Xbox services. Make a double click on each Xbox services one by one. Set the starter type to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set this to automatic. Apply, start and then click on OK. Again, set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Find Windows update, make a double click. Set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click and then click on start if highlighted or click on restart. Make a right click on the second gaming services and then click on start if highlighted or click on restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now you can try to launch Xbox app and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then make sure that you run this as an administrator again. Paste the command and then hit the enter key. Let this process complete. This process will take some time and during this process, you will see some errors in red color. Just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is complete, you will see everything in red. And once this is done, then you can launch Xbox app or you can restart your computer and then you can try to launch Xbox app. Next step is to run inetcpl.cpl. So type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on inetcpl.cpl over here and then go to advanced tab, scroll down, make sure use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, .1 all four are checked over here and then hit apply, click on OK and then you can check. Next step is to update your windows using media creation tool. So if nothing is working, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the Video description, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down over here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then you can run this exe file. 
Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Now select ISO file over here and then click on next. Set the location as desktop. Click on save. Now click on let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on finish. Once you click on finish, let this close automatically. Do not close this manually. And then once this is done, go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Here you can see setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. Click on next over here accept and here you can see ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then click on install once the install is done now you can log into the computer and then open xbox app and then this time when you open the xbox app it should not be stuck on loading it should not be stuck on launching the xbox app so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel